This is our prototype circuit for driving a RC servo motor with a 4 to 20 milliamp analog signal. In this case, we're simulating that 4 to 20 milliamp signal using a potentiometer generating a 1 to 5 volt DC voltage signal. But replace that with a 250 ohm resistor, put 4 to 20 milliamps through it, and you will have 1 to 5 volts. So it's a, it's a valid simulation. What we've done here is we've been doing some experimentation with some of the other potentiometers in the circuit. These two potentiometers set the window voltages, or the limits, for driving the uh, servo when it gets uh, out of bounds or away from set point too far. We've tightened that up, so right now we have a total dead band of only 0.1 volts out of a 4 volt span, 1 to, one to 5 volts over here. That's about a 2.5% dead band. Um, so our position on the servo should deviate from our command signal by no more than 2.5% at any given time. And by turning this here, you can see just how precisely this turns. Now the risk in having too small of a dead band is that if your dead band is, uh, isn't large enough, the coasting action of the motor will carry it past where it needs to go. It'll overshoot, and then the valve goes back, and then it goes forth, and back and forth, back and forth, it just hunts. And that's a problem we haven't encountered yet in this design, but potentially we could. And so it's the kind of thing that we need to be aware of as we continue to play with the dead band. But the cool thing about the circuit is it is adjustable. We can adjust the dead band here. The parts are very simple. Uh, this should be uh, fairly easy to translate to a printed circuit board and very inexpensive too. We're basically using four transistors, a handful of uh, resistors, and a pair of ICs, one of those being a quad op amp. So pretty straightforward.